Okay guys, here is the first part of the test on the Siley Red Dot. Let's see if it'll focus there. But as you can see, it is raining pretty hard here in eastern Kentucky. Been raining for a while. It's supposed to rain off and on all day. So we're just going to leave that sitting right out there on that post in the rain. You can see how hard it's coming down. And uh, we're going to see if that thing's watertight. It's on and it's running. So uh, as long as it's raining today, it's going to be out there. So we'll uh, see what she does. See if she's waterproof to withstand the rain. Hey guys, here's the Sally Red Dot. It only got rained on about an hour out here earlier today. But it's been sitting out here. The sun's come out. It's really hot and humid. Let's uh, pick it up and see if it's uh, see if it's still on. Uh, let's see if we can see through it. Uh, let's just pick it up and see if it comes on. So let's come over here where we can see a little better. Let's see if we can see the dot. I see the dot. I don't know if you can see the dot. Let me lock its focus and maybe maybe you can see it Let's see if I can find it for you I can't see it through the camera and the but I can see it there it is it's, are you seeing it or you might see it go past there anyway it's just still on and still working. So since it just got an hour's worth of uh, rain on it, uh, that's not hardly enough to really give it a good try. So let me pause you here. I got something else in mind. All right, I have her Siley right here, and it is still on. I uh, took it over there. It was set out in the rain for about an hour. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk out here in the yard and toward that telephone pole and I'm gonna throw this thing up in the air as high as I can throw it and let it come down and uh, we're gonna do that three times and uh, then we're gonna come back over here see if it's still on and uh, I can still see the dot clearly I don't know that you can uh, I'll try to get it for you and I don't know why this is so hard to see through that and get it where it needs to be, but hopefully you see it at some point there, and it is on. So I'm gonna walk out here, we're gonna throw it up in the air three times. Hopefully you can see those and you know it does have some some dirt and some uh, but it is still on and it is still working. I wish I could get that dot for you. Maybe if I stand in front of it I'll be able to see it. Somehow I'm not in front of the camera. There, there, is that it? I 
Why is that so freaking hard? Anyway, it is still on and still going. So let's do one more thing to it. Okay, guys, so we have our Siley uh, red dot here. And uh, I forgot to hit the play button or record button when I done this. So anyway, I done dropped it in the pool for like two minutes before I realized that I hadn't hit the play button. But this is a four foot swimming pool. And I don't know how much depth this is rated for, but uh, we're going to drop this into this four foot swimming pool. I did steal a piece of Sheila's uh, uh, crochet and yarn, so don't tell her. She's, uh, she's like really possessive and protective of this stuff. But we're going to drop it in here for 30 minutes and we're going to come back and we're going to see if we got any water in it. Now, it is still currently on, so when we come back it should there's really no way to know if it's off down there uh, but when we pull it up it should come back on so let's uh, take and drop it in our pool and there she goes all the way to the bottom that's at least four feet and I'm going to tie it off here to this pool and we're going to go in and we're gonna leave this soaking for about 30 minutes or so. And then we're gonna come back out and uh, see if we got any water in it. And uh, if it can withstand four foot of water for, you know, 30 minutes, I'd say that's pretty good. It's set out in the rain for over an hour already, so. And I couldn't see any water in it there, so. Uh, we'll find out here in a few minutes if it's got water in it or not, so. Let's uh, come back out here in about 30 minutes and see what we got. All right, guys, we're back here at the pool. It's probably been closer to 45 minutes because I went inside and was working on editing a couple other videos and kind of lost track of time and uh, kind of forgot about this. So it's been probably closer to 45 minutes. So let's pull her up here and uh, see what we got. See if it comes on and if it's Got any water in it and uh, see what she looks like. So let's pull her up out of the pool and she is soaking and it is on. Let me dry the lenses off so I can see. There's water on the lenses, but I see no water whatsoever inside the red dot. Let's see if you can get a shot of that on my shirt. I got it earlier. I kind of got it for you, but anyway, it is still on and still working. So let's try one more thing with this. Okay, we're standing here in front of our old garage building. I'm about, uh, oh, seven or eight yards, 20, 25 feet. And uh, that uh, building is made out of solid oak. Them boards are solid oak boards. We're going to throw this. Because what good's a red dot if it ain't good for impact? So we're going to throw this three times. And each time, I'm going to throw it progressively harder until I throw the last one as hard as I can throw it. So, and then we're going to put it back in the pool for 30 more minutes and see if the impacts uh, affect the, the water resistance of it. And we'll see if anything breaks on this thing. And if it survives that, I'd say it will survive most things. So, anyway, we still got our string on here. I'm going to leave it on. But we're going to throw it with the string. So, I'm going to throw it at that oak door. And like I said, I'm going to throw it progressively harder each time. And we're going to look and see if it's still on after each, and it is on now. And uh, so here's our first throw. So it's still on. Don't see no damage to anything. Everything seems tight. 
Don't see any damage, so let's give her another throw. See if we can hit it a little harder this time. You know, I'm no uh, uh, baseball pitcher, but, you know, I can put a little bit of heat behind it. So let's see what it does this time. So, looks like it hit more on the base that time. Uh, got a little scuffing right there. Got some, so we kind of hit on our lens. And it is still on, and it is still working. See if you can see that dot. If I could see better, maybe you could see it. All right, third and final throw. I'm going to give it all I got, which probably ain't going to be no hell of a lot. Because like I said, I'm no baseball pitcher. But I'm going to throw it as hard as I can throw it. I'm going to gather this string up so I don't slow it down there. And I'm going to give it all it's got. All I got. So, we hit pretty hard. It is still on, still working. I don't know if you can see it. I try to get this, we'll, we'll look at it in the building after all this is done, I'll show you it's still on. So, it is still on, still working. So, let's dunk her back in the pool and see if those three impacts, ah, oh, what the hell, let's throw it one more time. I think that had a little more heat. Still on, still working. Let's put her in the water. I see no, no damage really, a little scuffing. That gives a character, doesn't it? So, lenses still look good. Everything looks good. There's no water inside of it. So let's see if these impacts affected its water resistance. Let's go set her back up. All right, so you've seen our three Three impacts. We're still on, still working. This thing is so far. I threw it up in the air as high as the telephone pole. Let it hit the ground. I threw it against the oak garage door four times. It's hard. Two times at least as hard as I could throw it. We've had it in the pool for 30, 45 minutes really. Uh, it's set out in the rain for an hour. And now we're going to put it back in the pool. Yeah, let's give it another 30 minutes at least. That's if I don't forget it again. So. Anyway guys, I'll get back with you when we pull this thing back up. Then we'll take it inside and look at it. And, and uh, if it survives this, we're gonna put this on something and we're gonna see if it'll hold, you know, if it's still usable and it'll, it'll zero and all that stuff. So, in the pool it goes. And uh, we'll come back and get her in a little bit. See how she does. So, I'm gonna go work on another video while this is soaking and uh, we'll come back and check this out. All right, we've had the uh, red dot soaking in the pool for a little over 30 minutes, about 35 probably. So let's pull her out here and see what we got. It is still on, and I see no water in it. But you know what? I don't. I don't feel like I've tested this quite enough. So let's let's try one more thing. So I thought, well, I have a circular drive, and it's mostly gravel. So I thought, let's tie this to the uh, bumper of the truck. Let's make two rounds around the house. Of course, we have to go out on the blacktop for about, you know, 40, 50 yards before we circle back around. So we're going to tie this to the bumper. I'm going to 
gonna throw it down there on the ground. And I don't wanna make this overly complicated. This is yarn, I hope it'll hold. Uh, the yarn may break. But if it does, it does. So. Alright, I got us tied up there to the truck. Alright, let's uh I'm gonna set you I wanna set you where you can see. And okay, so I'm gonna start there, circle around the house, and come back around through here twice. And uh we'll see what it does. I'm sure it's going to scuff it up, but, you know, let's see if it can survive multiple impacts and abrasions. That was two trips around my driveway through the gravel along the blacktop and let me tell you what she is scuffed to hell <laughs> we've wore all the look at that we have scuffed her up but she is still on and working so I got one more test so Let's do this one last, well, actually I got two tests left. Let's do this one real quick. And then we'll move on to the other one, which is, but uh, you know, everything looks solid. Uh, I don't see anything that looks, you know, out of place. We're gonna do one more test. All right, guys, I hope you can see that. But right there is the Sealy. And there is a full-size Chevy Silverado. We're going to roll over it. We're going to roll back. We're going to see if it survives. Okay, you see her there, she's pressed into the dirt. Let's pull her up here and see what we got. So, we are still on. The dot is still on. She was rolled over by a full-size pickup twy truck and back last test 
All right, guys, so there's after being thrown against a building four times, dunked in the pool twice for a half hour, left in the rain for an hour, thrown as high as a telephone pole, ran over by a pickup truck, and as you can see, it is scuffed. It is, the it's rough. I mean, that's, it's it's rough, but the lenses are still clean and intact. The rear lens is good. The dot's on and bright. You know, she's uh she's uh, a little worse for wearing. You might say, well Rob, why did you why did you do this? Well, uh Seely sent me this with the intent to torture test it. And, you know, they want to know that they are selling you guys a durable product that's gonna last. Uh, you know, and, uh, hold up to whatever you put, abuse you put it to. And, uh, guys, this, this amount of abuse that I've just put this thing through, nobody would ever do this, you know. Um, uh, I was hesitant to do this to this because it's a really nice red dot. I really, I really like it and I really didn't want to do it. Uh, Seely, if you want to send me a new one, so I have a nice one. But, you know, uh, I may just set this one up to show, uh, I may send it to Sealy and let them back to them and let them, let them look at it and use it for their purposes and whatever, you know, we, we may see what that, what they, what they think about that. Anyway, I got one more test and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna dunk this thing in the water and wash it off a little bit and then we're gonna take it in and freeze it. And uh, once it thaws out, we'll see if there's any fogging on the inside. So, give me a little bit, and we'll get that started. All right, you can see it's still dirty. I'm just going to give it a dunk off in the pool, wash it off a little bit in the pool water. Get the dirt and mud off of it. Get it a little wet. Cleaned off a little bit. Let's see, is there any water in it? I don't see any water in it. There's water on it, but I don't see any water in it, and it's still on. So let's uh, let's take this string off. We're done with that now. Let's give her one more good cleaning. Let's get her good and wet. Let's take her in the house, throw her in the freezer. So here's our red dot. It's wet. It's got water on it still on still working I'm gonna open it up and I'm just gonna throw it right in here on the ice put it there where you can see a little bit put it right there on the ice and we're just gonna let it freeze a while and we're gonna wipe we're gonna uh, finish this one up so far Sally you're uh, you're, you're, you're knocking her out of the park. So, here's a look at the frozen scope. It's been in the, or the red dot. It has been in the freezer for well over an hour, and it actually has ice cubes stuck to it. It is thoroughly frozen. Let's knock these off. Let's take these over here and knock them loose. The lenses are covered, but you know I can still see the dot in there. Let's uh, let's go into building there and unthaw this and uh, take a look at it. So here we are out in the building. The scope is thawing, and uh, I'm gonna wipe the lenses off. Let's get one of these. Uh, Fancy lens cleaning cloth that comes with all this stuff and let's see if we can find one. Ah, here's a good one. So You got Water on the outside of the lenses, so let's dry them on the outside Thoroughly And 
and of course they're going to continue to fog for a minute because the temperature difference is it's really hot out here in the building right at the moment so and let's let this warm up a few minutes and uh, quit fogging and see what we got let's see what we have let's dry it off a little bit and let it dry a few minutes see the lenses just keep fogging but as you can see the dot is still on it is still on and still functioning All right, let's let her dry a little bit. All right, guys, I've dried off the Sealy, Kylie, or however you pronounce it, uh, T3. We've dried it. Uh, let's see if you can see there. There is the red dot. It's still on, still functioning. Our, uh, let's do our, our levels. Let me get it, get it where you can see it. Our button still functions. There's all the way down, all the way up. So our keypad still functions. I see no water or moisture. Now the lenses did get a couple little, a little nicks, but as you can see, we are, she survived. She survived all that being, survived it. Let's check our battery compartment. Make sure there's no water intrusion in our battery compartment. <clears throat> well, that may be our failing point right there I cannot seem to get the battery compartment to come off uh, let's try some channel locks I may have uh, pressed it on there pretty good we will get it off <laughs> guys we ran over this with a truck we threw it against the wall we've drug it we have done about everything possible to this red dot and yes, it is turning, but I am having to use a pair of channel locks because it's obvious that I have messed up the threads there or something. Pressed it on so tight with the truck or something, but it, guys, there's not a drop of water in that battery compartment, not a drop. It's as dry as a bone. Let's thread her back on. She threaded back on. Let's make sure she's tight. If that's the only thing that failed on this and you have to take a pair of pliers to take it off, I'd say it done really good. So anyway, guys, there she is. She's still operating. She survived everything I could throw at it, short of uh, blowing it up or shooting it. So, is this a good dot? Yes, I would say this. And for the price this sells for, I think this is like 60 bucks somewhere in that vicinity. Yeah, this is, uh, I can't see you getting much better, honestly. You've seen the test. So, there was nothing... Nothing faked and no trick camera tricks or this. Yeah, this is impressive. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching this. This is going to be a long video because I just kept trying to think of things to make this thing fail. But when it was all said and done, it just wouldn't fail. It just would not do it. 
I can find the dot. There it is. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Kylie, Siley, I hope this is what you wanted for this red dot because that's what I did. Anyway, guys, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe. And uh, until the next video, well, we probably won't be tearing something up. We'll see you guys later.